Level up, 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 level up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the Bachelor of Science in Health Science. Yes, I've been getting a lot of requests about um, you know accelerating this course, finishing it in a quicker time. So I am going to be talking about that today. Also, there's going to be a link in the description with the uh, Excel guide, so you can check that out, download it, and use it as a guide to help you to finish your degree in a quicker time. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Health Science Degree Planning. I have been getting a lot of requests for this one, so I decided to do some research and get it done for you guys. So, um, based on my research, uh, you guys are required to do a total of 39 courses at minimum, right? So we'll start off with the prerequisites. You have three prerequisites that you are, you have to do before you actually start doing your major courses. So I see these are the three of them. Only one is available on Sophia Learning. So introduction to sociology is available on, so on Sophia Learning. So you can do that one. Then you have so then you have major required courses. You have twelve major required courses that um, that you have to do. Only one is available on Sophia Learning, and that is nutrition. You also have um, two, sorry, you have six program electives, right? So these are health science related elective elective course that you must do, and you have six of them to do. None of them are available on Sophia Learning. And then you have capstone courses. So from my understanding, you can you have two options when it comes on to doing the capstone courses. You can either do the, the internship, which is which gives you six credits, or you can do these two seminars, which gives you three credits per course. Right, and that's a total of six credits. So I'm not a hundred percent sure if this the capstone uh, courses count in. Your elect counting your total your total amount, but I I added them just in case because it said that you're required to do either this or these two, All right? So it's six credits total. Uh, so you can check with your advisor if it counts towards the um the total thirty nine or if it's something additional. I'm not sure, but I counted it in it. Um, if it's not included, then you probably need to do two more extra courses. Um. But these are required. These are all of the required courses. And out of all the required courses, unfortunately, only two can be done on Sophia. So you're going to have to do a total of uh, 21 courses with University of the People. Now, this is still not bad because that is just two years. And you have your general education courses that you are required to do. So these are typically um the general education courses that all persons are required to do, regardless of your major. Right. And then these are just some additional electives that you can do to satisfy the 39 course requirement of your degree. Right. So I've ha I have here 16 courses that you can complete. The ones in green, these are required. The other ones you can actually substitute for other courses. So all of these, all, all 16 course over here, in addition to the two over here, so that's 17, 18. So you have 18 courses in total that you can complete with Sophia Learning and you can finish your degree in two years, right? So it is not as quick as the Bachelor of um, Business Administration course, I should say, but it's still taking a lot off because instead of spending four years pursuing this degree, you just complete 95% of your major courses with University of the People and then you transfer the, all of the electives and you're good to go. All right, so I will attach this document in the description so you can have um, you can have access to it and you can plan your degree. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching this video.